Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my favorites video. This is going to be technically my June favorites, but also I'm going to mention a lot of favorites that I had in May. Um, I just got over like a really nasty sinus infection cold thing so I haven't worn a ton of makeup and the makeup that I did wear was kind of repetitive so I'm just gonna go and share the makeup that I've been using over and over again the past couple months so let's just dive right into it starting off with the face I've been going back and forth between these two face products so the first one is the LA girl pro coverage HD foundation and I have the shade nude beige it fits me when I'm tan, and my tan is kind of going away, so it's a little bit dark, but I make it work, and I really love this foundation. It looks so healthy on the skin. It is a dewy foundation, so it's really good for dry skin, and I feel like it lasts long as long as you set it, and it's just overall a really good, affordable foundation, so definitely love this. And then I've also, mine is so dirty, Got, I've gone back to my Urban Decay One and Done Naked Skin, um, what is this, the Hybrid Comple Complexion Perfector, it's basically a BB cream and it has SPF 20 in it. I really, really love this, this is what I have on today, and I just love that it looks very natural on the skin, it's a very light wash of coverage, and it's really great for if you're going to the beach or you're going to be outside because it's not like heavy where it's going to crease and melt off, it's just very natural and soaks into the skin really well. So for brows, I've been loving a very natural, bushy looking brow. And I've gone back to my e.l.f. brow gel. This is like $2 at Target. And it has two sides. One is for eyelashes, one is for brows. Honestly, I've used both sides on my brows and they feel the same to me. And I definitely love them. I've been setting my brows with them every single day that I do my makeup. I just love the way it brushes my brows up and they last all day and they just look so full and bushy. So definitely recommend this for two bucks. You cannot go wrong. This LA Girl Gel Liner is so good and so inexpensive. These you can purchase at Ulta and I've also seen them at other little like beauty stores that sell affordable brands and these just glide on so good it is so black it lasts a really long time and it's just so creamy and comfortable to tight line with also sticking with eyeliner I have been in love with the Urban Decay heavy metal glitter I'm sure I've mentioned it in the past but I have been using it often and I just really really like it if I'm wearing any sort of like purple or blues I think it looks so beautiful you can put it on the inner tear duct on the lower lash line along the crease instead of doing a cut crease and it is just such a good glitter I don't get fallout and it looks so beautiful and it's so easy to use now as for a highlighter I have been using mainly only golden looking highlighters and that used to not be my favorite but lately I can't get enough of golden highlighters so I just picked out some of my favorites because these are the ones I alternate between um, the past two months I've just been alternating any gold highlighter so basically a favorite is golden highlighters but I have the wet n wild gold bar and this is limited edition so it's not available anymore but if you have this and you haven't used it in a while break it out it is so good also the baby bat beauty highlighter in earth goddess is gorgeous it's like a golden champagne -y color but it's a little bit deeper so it's really good for medium to tan or deeper skin tones it's so beautiful it's the highlight that I have on today on my whole face and then of course Laura Geller's Gilded Honey is the most infamous gold highlighter ever I've been using it a lot and last but not least I've been also diving into the shade glow getter non-stop in the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia glow kit okay now on to eyeshadow and then lips and I'm all done the palette that I've been grabbing often is the the pixie palette and I haven't been wearing a ton of eyeshadow lately as it is so if I did do my eyeshadow lately I definitely grabbed this one quite a bit I love this pixie palette it has any kind of transition color you would need all the neutrals for a natural easy go-to look um, I think this is around 20 25 dollars at Target and it's kind of pricey in my opinion for a drugstore eyeshadow palette 
but the quality is really good and it blends out easy, super pigmented. Also, I absolutely love my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. I don't even know if this is still available, but if it is, I highly recommend picking it up. It is so pretty, and I think on camera, it doesn't really do it justice. Last but not least, I've been really playing with these very often. Every time I would do my makeup the past month, I was trying to reach for at least one of these. This is the Davina Cosmetics Dirty Beautiful Collection. So this is their newest palette that they came out with, and it comes as a collection, so the palette and the highlighters. I do have a video on these that I can link down below of swatches and my opinion on them and all of that good stuff but definitely reached for this a lot and it's definitely a favorite the shades are beautiful they're all duochrome and it is I'm pretty sure it's still available if not I'm sure it's going to be restocked so definitely check out Davina Cosmetics Instagram for updates like that um, but I just think this is so beautiful my favorite one is probably one of them is this one. This one I think is in the shade Jezebel. And it's like a blue, violet, indigo, purple color. So lippy time. I have been using this lip liner often as a lipstick and it is the Palladio Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Naked. So I've been using this lip liner a ton just by itself. It is waterproof so it does last a really long time. It's really, really pigmented. It feels a little bit thick going on but I feel like it lasts just like a lipstick and it's just the perfect nude. I love these lip liners a ton and I've been using this quite often. Also, I have been using this lipstick more often than I thought I would. It's the Tarte uh, Color Splash Lipstick in Pink Lemonade. I can't remember if I've mentioned this in my last favorites video, but I've still been using it a lot. So if I did mention it in there, I'm still using it a lot. It's so pretty, creamy, and it goes perfectly over any lip liner. Last but not least, I have fallen in love with this Lip Good Lipstick. It is so beautiful. It's the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spicy. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so pretty. It's like this red-orange shade. I wanted this one because it has the orangey tones, and it is so pretty. So all you need is like a golden highlighter, some mascara, and this, and it is just so pretty. It makes any look look like put together. It's actually very comfortable, and it does last a long time. So I don't know if Anastasia's liquid lipstick formula is inconsistent because I've tried catnip, hated it. I like Madison okay and this one is by far my favorite and I think it's very comfortable so I feel like there's some inconsistencies. So this one definitely, definitely recommend. It's so beautiful. So guys, that is all from my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it and please leave down in the comments something that was your favorite the past month or so so that way maybe I could try it out too and I'll see you guys in my next video. I do videos twice a week so I'll see you guys then and until then have a great day slash night everybody. Bye!